the way we've designed our tech stack is to be live and live queries. And as much as that, we need to have a data warehouse under the hood that can scale and can support that need. Uh, I think the days of, of caching data in memory in cubes has gone. And now we're looking at a new age of data warehouse technologies that can provide sub-second responses on large data sets uh, with high concurrency. And if we don't achieve that, we don't have that performance on the left-hand side, then unfortunately we have a cascadingly negative effect on, on the insights, right? The adoption of our BI applications. And of course, as Tom showed in his numbers, this impacts overall decision-making. So now I'd like to introduce a bit about Firebolt and our partnership with IQVIA. Um, and I think a little bit, first of all, about Firebolt itself. Uh, so Firebolt is a third generation cloud data warehouse. So you're probably familiar with the likes of Snowflake and, and Redshift. Um, and what drew us to supporting Firebolt within our analytical ready APIs is their philosophy on their technology, which is pure speed. Okay. Their tech stack is built on the idea of delivering insights as quickly as possible. And of course that fits our need within the analytical ready APIs. If you think of that topic around data lagging. We need to make sure to see the data warehouse can support that. And there was three key areas we looked at. Uh, with Firebolt uh, to support our stack. First of all, obviously on the query performance, we needed a technology that could support sub-second queries. And I think there's a, there's a big divide in the industry today around technologies which have focused on big data use cases, right? They've targeted, you know, the ability to scan petabytes of data. On the flip side, there's a set of legacy database technologies that maybe are starting to evolve and, and support those, those larger use cases. But historically, they've been better suited to smaller data sets, transactional use cases, right? We think of relational databases. And for us, <clears throat> the sweet spot was in the middle. So if you think about the diverse landscape of data applications, we have customer facing analytics we have batch machine learning algorithms, right? We have business processes. All of those vary in the style of speed of data they need access to. And of course they vary in the, in the load of data they need, right? And the speed in which that data must be returned in. And so for us, query performance needed to be consistent across those, whether we had 100, 200, 250 users accessing a, a BI tool we needed that consistent sub-second query performance. On the flip side, if we needed to scale up to, to support a huge data volume query by or had ad hoc queries, again, we needed, we needed to support that. So query performance and concurrency was a huge driver in this area. Secondly, on the date of refresh, Firebolt is built for the cloud and the ability to ingest data at speed is extremely crucial to overcome maybe a, the, the historical batch operations of ETL, right? So how quickly can we get data into the warehouse? And of course, the faster you get data into the warehouse, the quicker you speed up the right-hand side, the delivery of insights. And you partner that with the headless BI architecture, then you can guarantee that you can deliver those insights as fast as possible to your, to your consumers. And lastly, the scalability and future fit. So Firebolt is both focused on query performance and concurrency, but they're also scaling for the future to support huge data volumes. So we have the full trust that in five to 10 years, when our volumes, data volumes get to that level, that that's the right technology uh, to, to support that. 